guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner related videos, DIY tutorials, budget videos, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. Commenting, liking, and sharing this video does help my channel grow and would be truly appreciated. All right, so I was doing some crafting and I thought I'd turn on the camera and show you guys what I was doing. Now, I did recently show this in the joanne.com haul that I did and I'm actually going to do what I thought I, at the moment I thought I was going to do is I'm going to cut these down. And if I were to cut it at the actual size of the skinny mini, then this is what I would get. So I would get this and then I would get this and that's really not what I want. So this'll just be some note paper, but what I'm doing instead is I'm cutting it so that it is right before the numbers. So that I have a sheet that looks like this, and then I have sheets that look like that. And honestly, that does not bother me. And so that measurement comes out to two and three eighths. Although to be perfectly honest, I mean, unless you're cutting this down, specifically this paper, then it, it doesn't matter. Really, I just, I want to be able to use this fully functional and then use this fully functional. And again, um, I do have ideas for this. So let me finish cutting this. And you could do it by eye especially if you are just cutting it down with scissors, but I am horrible at cutting down a straight line with scissors, so I tend not to, even if I'm only cutting just a few things. And let me see if I can cut through this big, huge stack right here. Probably regret it, but yeah. <laughs> And if you are cutting through something thick, it is always better to push up into it than to push down. Yay, works perfectly. And that's all the cutting that I need to do. And then I'm not going to punch this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a tearaway pad. And I can either leave it here, put it up in front of me so that if I'm planning anything on the weekends for YouTube or, or whatever, I could use it here. Although more than likely, I'm just gonna take this to work and use this um, as a daily to-do list. And so what you do is you really wanna make sure that it is lined up on the bottom and then on the sides. And it should all be the same height. And then you'll want to clip quite close to the top, but not too close, um, but because you just want this to stay firm. And then it's really easy. You just take some white glue. Elmer's glue works fine on this. And you run a bead at the top and you want it to be quite thick, although you will be doing this multiple times. And I did do a craft um, in this fashion a few weeks ago, so it's basically the same thing. And so if you ever have uh, just tons of scrap paper, you can cut them down to a uniform size and then use this method so that your scraps aren't just flying around, they are in a tear pad. And you could use a foam brush, but I find that using my finger to push the glue into it uh, works the best. And you just wanna push it into it. 
and then run it smooth. Let that dry and then repeat that two or three more times. You want that to be um, fairly thick. And then once it's completely dry, and it usually takes about 24 hours for it to fully sit up, then you can just tear away these pages. Hey guys, I just wanted to insert this quickly. So this is the completed tear pad that I made. Um, I could cut down a um, piece of cardboard paper, cereal box, whatever, to put as a backing on this just to make it a little bit more sturdy. But it's not something uh, that I'm going to throw in my purse or anything. I'm just going to take this to work and so that way I can use the very last sheet as well as the back. Uh, if you do want to make this sturdier or if you want to put, um, make it sturdier and then put it as a something for your fridge, like if this was a, a command center for your day, um, then you'd want to use, uh, just use some glue or some double-sided tape and then uh, make the exact same size uh, cardboard. Again, a cereal box works fine. And then put some of those sticky back magnets on there, the kind you can get from Walmart or the Dollar Tree, I believe. And then this becomes one of those fridge magnets and again, because we did those layers of glue, it does stay together. We did get all of the inside pages and it just tears apart like that. And I think, oh, that's quite thick paper. I thought it was two sheets, but it's just the one. And I think something like this would be great um, using in your office or again if you put it as a command center on your fridge because I mean if you've got multiple people and you need you need to know what things are doing or what you're doing or whatever um, I mean it just says today a.m. p.m. and then you can just write little notes and then rip it off and then use the bag for like a grocery list or, or something but yeah I just wanted to show you the finished thing because in the video um, I only showed you how I was putting it together and then here I've turned these into little social things that are actually smaller than a skinny mini sheet. So if you have a skinny mini and you want to add into it, then I think this would be the perfect size because then it's sort of like a skinny mini mini <laughs> where you can still see either side of the page. It's more of like a tip-in or a Dutch door but it does give you some more functional space if you have that little skinny mini and it is proving to be a little too small. What I plan to do with this is I'm going to store them in here or maybe in one other place just because I don't want them to get all junky, but I'm going to use this as part of my goal setting um, either on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis because it does give me this right here and then it does give me all of this right here. So that's really what I was thinking about when I saw this online that I really was only interested in that but I mean I paid for the paper so I might as well get some use out of both sides and I just wanted to show you that little trick if you're able to get your hands on this or any of the little mini pads that have some specific design elements like this that you might want to highlight I mean I think that looks super cute um, that's adorable right there. All right, guys, again, this was a quick and easy project. Let me know what you think and how you would use this in your own happy planning journey. I'd love to know in the comments below. That's all for me for now. And as always, aloha.